yo eh, comencé a utilizar drogas a la edad de 15 años y comencé a utilizar cocaína y marihuana y alcohol. I was convinced I was going to die before I got 20 years old. An important part of the story because yeah, you started filming coming in so that you can see the, the testimony and the contrast of, you know, night and day. I mean, here behind these bars right here and this barbed wire, uh, the rest of the institution that we'll see, you'll be able to film and hear about, are run by uh, the church. Uh, the evangelical work in this prison in 1990 was a group, a handful of, of men that came to study the Bible. We began in 1991 to create the, the Teen Challenge program by doing one-on-one -on -one evangelism in the middle of the, of the population. So when we turn around, this church here, this building, uh, was the first <laughs> for the church. Okay. And Teen Challenge began to work from outside the prison. We had an office space in here that we started with uh, Bible studies where the drug addicts would come in and begin to study the Bible here with us. If you look here, we built up here, and the person that I had in charge of Teen Challenge got to live in the church building. And, and this was like the first beginning of uh, a, uh, the vision that we would have our own uh, sector in, in uh, cell block. So we're behind the bars of the cell block, we would have full authority to do rehabilitation. Uh, this is Chaplain. you with two of the graduates of Teen Challenge that are now full-time chaplains uh, with the work here in the prison, two of the key leaders uh, that are working here, and, and uh, Mereles was the first, uh, well, he was in the first uh, dormitory we had to that old building that I showed you with the first 25 beds. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at the view, yeah. Todos los licenciados, hombre. Tan orgulloso soy yo para ustedes. My name is Louis Vincent. I'm from the Republic of South Africa. I got busted four kilos of coke. Um, the cops stopped me. Well, they said to me, if I want to continue my journey and get to my destination, I need to pay the ten thousand dollars. If I didn't pay, well, they're just going to send me to jail. And that's what happened today. Penitenciaria Nacional de Tacombu in Asuncion is the largest prison in Paraguay. Built to house 800 inmates, it now incarcerates over 3,000 prisoners. These guys were all delinquents. Uh, they were all robbers, armed robbers. Some of them were killers. And, uh, and to be in the Teen Challenge dormitory meant they had to go out and sell sandwiches. They had to sell ice. They had to be servants. And it was really, really hard for them. But the uh, miracle of God uh, saw the book. They discovered the greater is in them. 
then those are the wrong side. How old were you when you got started doing oh, drugs? Very young, about 12, 13 years old. And what was your first drugs? Uh, my first drugs were uh, marijuana, hashish, and I live in Amsterdam, so that is pretty legal. Later on, I do everything. I do the hard drugs, the heroin, cocaine, everything. They don't have that in America. <laughs> <laughs> This sign here says uncleanliness zero, addiction, drug use zero, stealing, injuring somebody zero, fighting zero. This is a prison, and you talk about social justice, prison reform. This is a prison run by prisoners that have experienced Christ and the gospel in their lives, yeah. and you can see for yourself that it works. El señor supervisor de acá. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. 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 El jefe. El jefe. Those are all folders. Those are legal file folders. So they, they produce these. But all of these have been uh, produced by the working side here in the prison. For the, for the, for the legal department. Bien. La vaca mecánica leche de soja. That's the mechanical cow because we produce there soy milk. And now we're going to the arts and crafts that are sold in the tourist places. This is the, our own store. At the prison. <laughs> and here we have the library. We have secondary education. We have university education. Uh, there is a class here that's taught on the internet now for guys, and there was actually somebody awarded a, a law degree from Spain with a correspondence agency. But this is where guys come, they can learn the computer, they can study the Bible, uh, and uh, secondary education is being... Uh, yeah, in a party with alcohol and drinking, uh, he committed. Demostramos que queremos cambiar y lo estamos haciendo. Todos los que estamos estudiando Derecho tenemos un promedio de 90 para arriba de 100. Y va, vamos a llegar a ser los mejores abogados, los mejores profesionales, con principios cristianos y con ganas de ayudar ya a los compañeros que están Jesucristo me mostró que existe una nueva oportunidad para mí a pesar de estar en este lugar. Yo he descubierto de que existe una nueva oportunidad y ahora mi vida tiene un rumbo fijo y yo sé hacia dónde apunto. system that's so corrupt that right now the, the prison director is a threat, uh, a physical threat to the leadership here uh, because they have pronounced uh, for at least, at least let the prison provide decent food. Uh, when you raise a voice against the social injustice like you have here, uh, they have been attacked, they have been threatened by the delinquent 
population inside the prison for money. Thank God for King Challenge. God is good for iedereen. And what does that mean? God is good for everybody. Because my soul is being delivered from sin. Help me a lot. You brought me closer to God. We have a purpose in my life. Tremendo, tremendos cambios, tremendos milagros in our lives if we give them the opportunity. I really learned to love, you know, the Word of God and just to study it. I believe, I believe the Teen Challenge can be on the cutting edge of the last worldwide revival before the trumpet sounds. This here is a five-star hotel compared to the cell blocks that are existing still on the other side of the wall.